today we got a baby cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. Uh, one of five species of venomous snakes here in Florida. What a beautiful snake, y'all. What a beautiful snake that is. The water moccasin is the world's only semi-aquatic viper. Pit vipers are distinguished by the presence of a heat sensing organ located between the eye and the nostril on both sides of the head. Currently there are 151 species recognized in the pit viper family. The cottonmouth is an aquatic species which means he spends most of his life around streams, marshes, swamps, and even sometimes occasionally in salt They're water. They're so well adapted that they have actually colonized several islands on the Atlantic coast and Gulf of Mexico. Cottonmouths only exist in the southeastern United States with the exception of those few islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, head, his head is right there. Right, let me get out his answer. His head's right there? Yes, that's his head. Okay, I'll see it. Let's see his tongue. Alright. So Everybody needs to stay back so that way they don't get bit. Because I'm not going to. See, that's his head. That means. Hey, dude, I run a lot faster than that snake. I promise you that. Nate, get a good closer to this. Look at them fangs, oh my god. Nate, you're getting a good video on this? I'm trying. Everybody's trying to call you. Yeah, there, there he is. is. Watch your hand, man. He's tricky. Hmm. There he is. It's a cop. Uh, cotton mouth? Yep, that's definitely a cotton mouth. Yep. Yeah, yeah, take him out. See the black bands on his eyes right there? Yeah. That's a cotton mouth. Day one on the job. No. If it was a copperhead, the black bands wouldn't be on his eyes. The aggressiveness of these snakes has been greatly exaggerated. In tests designed to measure the various behavioral responses by wild specimens to encounters with people, 23 of 45 or 51 percent tried to escape, while 28 of 36 or 78 percent resorted to the threat display or other defensive tactics, such as playing dead. There are three known subspecies to the common cottonmouth, all in the southeastern United States, and there's an intermittent zone where all three combine to meet up with each other. The conservation status of this species is of the least concern. They are not considered threatened, and there are no ongoing efforts to protect this species from misunderstanding or even habitat loss. This snake gives many warnings as to its presence, including hissing, rattling its tails, or playing dead. The white coloration inside of its mouth is what gives it its common name of a cotton mouth. This snake can strike you even if submerged underwater, contrary to popular belief. However, if you do grab it, especially with your bare hands, it will consider you a predator and will do everything it can to defend itself. They couldn't even see his head. All right, let's, uh, let's go take him down the road and let him go, y'all. If you watch closely, when I let him go, all he wants to do is be on his way and go free in a nice little stream so he can live his life as full as possible. The guys, I got chased in the car. Y'all may remember him from the Hot Sauce Challenge. The Hot Sauce Challenge. He goes by the name Baby Tatum. Baby Tatum. Today, we got a baby cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin, uh, one of five species of venomous snakes here in Florida and we're just gonna relocate him down the road because he doesn't belong in our wood yard where we split firewood all right y'all we've moved several miles down the road and we're gonna let him go on this small little stream now watch your feet because I've let him go here before um, get a real good video of this guy getting released here in the water chase you want to let him go Thanks for watching this episode of The Great Outdoors. Make sure you press that like button if you like this video and subscribe so you can check out previous videos and be notified of future videos when they come out every Monday and Friday. These snakes are fed upon by over 10 species of birds and 5 reptiles, including iconic reptiles and birds like the bald eagle, red-shouldered hawk, American alligator, and snapping Also, turtles. horned owls, falcons, and large wading birds like egrets. Also, largemouth bass and several brackish or saltwater species like sharks. Cottonmouths prey on numerous pests like the Cuban tree frog and rodents. Let's preserve this very important species by simply leaving their habitat alone and leaving them alone when we're in their habitat. Thanks again for watching.